Hey, good morning and welcome to another Sunday Blather with me, Rev Lindy. This week I'm coming to you from New Zealand. I'm here at the Naval Museum in Torpedo, Torpedo Bay in Auckland. And I know I said I was going to have a very special guest with me, which of course was me, Lockie Lou, but it's his nap time. So it's, you're just left with me, sorry about that. But I really wanted to do this week's Sunday Blather from the Naval Museum, because this is a place I come to uh, every time I come and visit uh, my family here. And it's a museum that's dedicated to the efforts and the sacrifices made by the people of New Zealand during World War I. It's a really fabulous museum. But this time when I came at the beginning of the week, I noticed that there's a new sculpture, and I hope you can see it here behind me. I don't want to turn around because my voice disappears, but I'll try and describe it just in case you can't. So there's a pool of water at the bottom. It's got four compass points. Then you can see these arms stretching out and reaching up, and right in the middle there is a ladder. And it's by a local artist, a, a lady, and she talks about how it's supposed to represent the sacrifices that the sailors made during the World War I and um, in the usually awful conditions that they had to live in. But she also goes on to talk, because it's called As Above, So Below. She also goes on to talk about the ladder being Jacob's ladder, and Jacob's ladder in a ship is the ladder that the sailors climb to get right up to the top of the mast. But Jacob's ladder is also universally known as a, as a, a, a symbol of ascension, so it's a sort of bridge between the heavens and the earth. So all these sailors are all stretching up towards the heavens. And in the piece, where the artist is talking about her thoughts as she was creating this, she talks about this as above, so below, and how actually it represents life itself. Because that phrase, as above, so below, actually is, is a phrase that um, really talks about how the world works and that everything is interconnected. So the, our mental, spiritual, physical, emotional selves are all interconnected with each other and, and one can't be affected without the rest being affected. But as I was sitting here on Wednesday and, and Loki and I were here together and, and I was sitting looking at the sculpture and thinking about what that means and that phrase, it made me think of this, how we live our lives and so many people struggle with life in all different types of ways but that this idea of as above so below it really means whatever uh, is going on in the surface level of our lives is affecting how we feel at a deep almost cellular level so if we are living our everyday lives and we are finding things difficult, we, are, we think people are judging us, we think uh, work's difficult, we think life's difficult, then that in turn affects all these different parts of ourselves. But this information goes deep within us and there is nothing else that can happen but that these feelings of angst and anxiety and struggle and challenge are created within us. But I was also thinking about that ladder because Jacob's ladder, um, as I say, it's the, the point in the ship where sailors have to climb to the very, very top. And to be able to do that takes courage and it takes strength and it takes resilience. And I think that could be, can be a good tool for us to use in our, in our lives so that whenever we are feeling these, um, this angst and this anxiety and this, uh, this difficulty in life is to realise that we all have our own personal Jacob's ladder and that at any time we don't have to stay where we are, no matter how difficult it is, we can begin to take those steps, we can begin to ascend and pull ourselves up rung by rung into something different, in this case into to something that's, uh, that's much lighter and uh, a 
allows us to live our lives in a much more balanced and positive way. So that's what I wanted my takeaway to be this week, to think of that phrase. If you're somebody that's struggling, especially as we're coming towards Christmas time, and there can be lots going on and then we're going into a new year and I'll be talking about that next week. But to think of that phrase, as above, so below. Whatever you're telling yourself on the surface level is what that inner world that you're creating for yourself. And that's nothing new, you know, that's been said in many forms and many different ways. But I think it's actually a good phrase for us to hold on to so that as we're going through life we can say, as above, so below. And look for the positive in everything. Look for the light in everything and allow that inner world of yours to be something that's um, that's much more balanced and much healthier. So that's my wee takeaway for this Sunday blather. I hope you love this wee sculpture behind me because I absolutely love it and I'm away to enjoy the rest of what the museum has to offer. Whatever you're doing this Sunday, I hope it's an absolutely fabulous one and I will see you next week. Uh, Aloha!